Yes, I would like to uh, comment to this, if I may. I think it's important that I first state that while I may disagree with these proceedings, all of you should know that I remain steadfast in our total position in regards to praying in the name of Jesus. So in that regards, we are still a unified board. With that being said, I, I would like to address this by stating that according to the School of Government, a motion of censure has no legal effect other than to express the dissatisfaction of the majority of the board. It's no secret that the majority of the board has been upset with me due to the fact that I responded to questions from the media about county business, and I am open and transparent with the public. This isn't about copies. One's view is this is a way to silence me. That is about keeping me from talking to the media and the public. This is nothing more than a code of silence. When it comes to being open with the public and media about the county's business, I will take the high road versus the majority of the board. I cannot be silent. However, members of the majority of this board before us today have violated this very policy of being open with the public. Over the next several weeks, I will be submitting two my turn opinion pieces to the Salisbury Post outlining these ethics inconsistencies and I will let the public be the judge. Jesus said there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 persons who need no repentance. My fellow commissioners, I ask you to allow me to be responsive to the interests and needs of those citizens we represent. Let's experience reconciliation and joy, gifts that lead to renewed relationships and trust to move this county forward. One final comment, and this comes back to the September 3rd meeting that I addressed the Salisbury City Council. If you were to watch that video clip, you would see that I made no reference to any individual commissioner regarding self-righteousness. While in fact, I actually pointed to myself that I could be included in that category. So I do want to make that clarification. Otherwise, I respect your decision. I have no anger. And we can just move forward. Any other discussion? Just, uh, just a, f a few things. Uh, Commissioner Barber, I, I don't care if you talk to the media. As I, I encourage you to talk to the media any time that, uh, that you want to. Um, I, I don't have a problem with any member of this board uh, talking to the media. Um, I don't know if you, if you made copies inappropriately or not, to be honest with you. I have no idea. Um, if you did, I think that's wrong. Uh, I, th I think a censure is in is in order if if that is the case. Uh, as as you have said, the censure is is little more than the board basically saying we don't like what you were doing. So um, I, I think you're uh, I think you're right in that regard. As far as I'm personally concerned, um, I, I don't care who on this board talks to the media in what regard. Um, I don't think that, that at least that does not uh, weigh on my decision in terms of, of this question. So uh, no ill will about it, and, and I hope you don't take it that way. Um, I, I believe that, that if the, the actions that are, are brought up are, are there, then a censure is in order, um, and, and we'll move on from it from there. I understand. Mr. Chairman, uh, I really don't care what Commissioner Barber says to the press. 
Um, I talk to the press all the time simply because I want to keep them informed and let them know what's going on because they only hear what we tell them. This is not an action that I think is uh, being directed at Commissioner Barber for his uh, speech to the press or to the city council or to any other organization. I think this is simply an investigation like you asked for. That's what I motioned for was an investigation and let the facts come out from that investigation to lead us to where we need to move forward. Uh, but in no way, shape, or form is this any type of retribution for Commissioner Barber's statements to the press or to any other organization. He's entitled to his opinion. Doesn't mean it's the opinion of this entire board. But, you know, he is an American citizen. He can say what he pleases. Uh, if it doesn't please us, then it doesn't please us. But that doesn't mean we come out with retribution against that. This is simply an action to determine if there's been some improprieties done. They've been identified once in closed session. Uh, it's come to our attention that those improprieties still remain, and we'd like to find out uh, just how far uh, that impropriety goes. And once we find that out, then we'll know how we need to move forward. So we, I've got no animosity toward Commissioner Barber's statements. You know, he's allowed to say whatever he wants to, whenever he wants to, and do whoever, uh, just like I will. And uh, if the censor comes out, then I'll be allowed to say to him what I want to, ever how I want to, and I will. So uh, I'm good with that. We have a motion and a second on the floor. All those in favor of the motion say aye. Aye. Any opposed? No. This time we'll take a motion for a closed session. Mr. Chairman, I move that the board now enter closed session pursuant to the North Carolina General Statute 143-1811A1 for approval of closed session minutes, 143-113-11A6 for personal matters, and 11A4 for economic development, and for 11A3 to receive attorney-client privilege communication regarding the Board of Education mediation status. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 We're in closed session. We'll take a three-minute recess. <laughs>